we have problems with the foundations. Um, a lot of our piling, which is in saltwater bodies, gets um, affected by the chlorides in the water and, and corrosion occurs and that starts spoiling the concrete and accelerates the deterioration process. And that's really expensive to try and mitigate once it starts to happen. So avoiding the problem in the first place is money well spent. We're expecting these bridges to last 75, 100, 150 years. Uh, yeah, we're paying a little extra for the stuff, but we think when you go out and calculate dollars per year, that it's going to be actually cost savings for the taxpayer. The maintenance will be down, uh, traffic disruption, construction activities will all be reduced and allow us to spend our money in other areas. Well, the challenge with the, with the FRP materials is it's new. Engineers aren't used to working with it. Um, so, yeah, we get the project out of this, but the bigger bang for the buck here is actually the specifications, the standards, the policies, and the knowledge to allow us to move forward with more and more projects. Durability-wise, this, this bridge should should be here for, should last for 100 years um, without too much problem. I really believe GFRP and carbon FRP is the future for uh, durability.